Uh, this morning, uh, what we're going to look for is rain beetles, which are this uh, really strange, cool beetle group that it doesn't occur anywhere else on the planet except for California and Oregon. And, uh, and this is the perfect time to find them. It's, it's really the only time you can find them with reliability. They're here all the time, but they live, they're almost, they spend almost their whole life underground. And then after the first big rain, of the year the males tunnel up to the surface and they start flying around looking for females. The, the big rains began here in the Pacific Northwest that signify the onset of winter and that rain, whether it's because of the rain hitting the ground and vibrating and making a racket or whether it's because the, the moisture soaks down to where the beetle is sitting waiting, um, one way or the other the beetle realizes it's the rainy season and it tunnels up to the surface and these males start flying around. They're really good flyers. Continue up the trail and see if we can find some more. There should be a female around here somewhere. We've seen a bunch of males flying around. And what we're really looking for is like a little tiny hole in the forest floor. Okay, we've got something down here. Um, so, we've got here this, this hole in the ground, you can see, you can, usually the first thing you see is the male. There's the, the male tunneling here in the ground. And uh, this is the, the male rain beetle that we've seen flying around here in the forest floor all morning. Um, in this cold morning, it's starting to get too light for them to be out actually. And, um, and he's found this, this uh, female who's down here in the ground below. This is the female Pleocoma rain beetle. Not a common thing to find at all. This is a, now she's tunneled up from the ground, much deeper level, and she's, she's right below the surface where she can emit that pheromone. I've only seen a handful of these in my, in my career. I've been, I've been working on scare beetles uh, since, since my doctorate, and I've seen plenty of specimens in museums, uh, pin specimens. Uh, but finding the females, it's really only possible during a brief window in the, in the winter when the first winter rains start happening. Now this is pretty common within insects that the male and female be different sizes. The female is much larger. She's filled with eggs um, and so, and, and fat bodies. So this is a banana slug here. This is um, one of our really cool uh, native slug species. Now slugs are not insects. Slugs are um, related to clam. They're mollusks. They're related to snails and uh, and clams and things that you find in the ocean or or if maybe if you're freshwater mussels uh, in a lake near near where you live. But slugs are uh, slugs are mollusks and they are actually. They evolved from uh, relatives that had full snail shells on them, but all that's left on these slugs is this, um, they have a thin little leathery, sometimes there's actually underneath here a little partial shell, but the body can't retract into that shell. And they breathe through this totally great, they basically have lungs, um, and you'll see them open on the side of the, the body here, this big pore that will pull air in. And these are called banana slugs, both because of the size and because they have this splotchy black on yellow pattern that looks kind of like a banana. So we're uh, back here at the Oregon State Arthropod Collection in Corvallis, Oregon at Oregon State University. And uh, we were out this morning collecting, uh, looking for rain beetles, the genus Pleocoma, uh, which is a really unusual uh, scarab that we have, a uh, scarab relative that we have here in the Pacific Northwest in California. And you'll notice here we've got uh, two males and a female. The two males are these shiny, dark, very animated individuals. They're much more active. They were flying this morning uh, after the first rains. And this year we have a female. She's a little more sluggish, uh, doesn't move very much. And typically, and typically these, um, the females would never be seen outside of the ground. They basically never come out of the, the ground. The, and that's how we found them. We dug them out of the ground um, from little burrows that the males were um, locating to, to breed with.